So, Coach, how valuable has this past week been? Obviously, girls are busy with finals, but uh, kind of getting a chance to step back after so many games in the first month of the season. It's been good. I think uh, a lot of it's been focused on just getting ourselves healthy and making sure that we finish strong academically. Um, and then just playing a little bit freely, getting better at some things without the pressure of another game and having to prepare for that too quickly. So I think it's been great for everybody just to take a deep breath and, um, and, and do what we love and uh, finish strong academically. It's been a nice week. It went by fast, so <laughs> it went by fast. After the Butler game, you mentioned how you always want to hang your hat on defense and obviously did that in that game. Is there a positive message that you can relay to your team when you have a game where you don't hit a three-pointer and still win by double digits? Is that something that you can kind of instill in your culture that we can win other ways than making our shots? Right. I think it has to be because you're not going to make, you know, you're not going to make 12 threes every game, even the pros, you know, go stretches without um, making a bunch of shots or without scoring and, and that just is part of our game. But you can always be a good defensive team. That doesn't mean that they're not going to make good plays, that you're not going to make mistakes. But in a game like Butler, the message is if we can bear down and get stop after stop after stop, eventually our offense will catch up. We'll figure out how to attack them. If we're not making open shots, we'll figure out how to get the shots that we need to make sure that we win the game. But if we can't get stops then and we're not figuring that out quickly, then it's going to be hard to win games on the road especially. So I think it, coming away from a game like that where it just felt like a rock fight. I mean, we were both missing open shots. It was a low-scoring game. It, it was just kind of a, a sludge of a game. Then you, you just have to do what you have to do to, to make sure that you win the game. And I felt like our defense specifically towards the end of the game was really, really important for us doing that. Yeah, Ayanna Moore has been in a bit of a, a shooting slump lately, I guess. Yeah. You know, do you, what do you think is going into that, and, and how do you think that she can maybe break out of that? I always think when they're this young that it's it's usually mental. You know, you, you miss a bunch of shots and maybe they're open, maybe they're not, or you, you know, you go long stretches without seeing the ball go through the net, and that can tend to get into young kids' heads. I think Ayana has grown um, from her freshman year when that happened, but it it still happens. It happens to the best shooters in the world, and, and at the end of the day, that's another reason why I think the week off is good. You get into the gym, you just spend some time watching the ball go through the net. And then you cross your fingers and hope that your your work pays off for you. Um, but that's why, again, it's not even just team-wise, but individually, I want them to understand their value is more than making shots. And on a basketball team, your value has to be more than that because there will be days that you'll miss shots. And then it can't be that you bring nothing else to the table. We just talked about that in the circle. It has to be where, even if it doesn't show up on the stat sheet, there needs to be energy and effort, ability to listen and learn to be a great teammate, to rotate defensively, to maybe take a couple charges. I think that's important, especially when you're going through a slump because you can impact the game without making a shot. And if you can do that, then it takes the pressure off you to feel like I have to make shots for us to win. That's not usually the case on a good team. Um, and hopefully you'll see her make some more shots down the road, but even if she doesn't, I'm, I'm banking on the fact that she's learning how to defend, mm -hmm. um, make plays for others, um, in the half court and the full court to make sure that there's a positive impact having her on the floor. Yeah, the Butler game was a good offensive rebounding game for you guys. So yeah. did you see progress there as far as the rebounding goes? I know it's been an issue. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad we got the rebounds of the shots we didn't make, but I would like to see us make more shots. So, you know, if you, if you miss a bunch of shots, you better have a good offensive rebounding game. Um, but yes, I think I could go both ways, right? It could, it could have gone where we didn't get enough rebounds and we weren't able to get buckets. But if we, if we don't make a bunch of shots, if the other team doesn't make a bunch of shots, there's no reason why the games that we're playing right now, we shouldn't be out rebounding teams by double digits. That just has to be the case. So there was an emphasis put on it, um, especially over the last few days. So hopefully we'll see that pay off. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the status of Bailey Gilmore right now? Right now um, it is what's the word I'm looking for? Indefinite. Mm -hmm. And that decision is up to me, and I'll make it when the time is right. Okay. Is there uh, any unique challenge to this upcoming week in between finals and the holidays where you've got those two games, and I'm sure the, the players are looking forward to seeing his family and, and, and celebrating Christmas. H how do you keep them locked in on these last two games? Yeah, that? you just have to address it. You got you to gotta talk about the commitment that they've made to being here. Um, the fact that finals are over, everyone was really excited today coming to practice. We only have a couple kids with finals left today. 
but it's not time to go home yet. It's not time, you know, to sing Christmas carols and drink hot cocoa and eat all the things. <laughs> we're not there yet. We still have some work to do. Um, and they understand that this is, you know, what we're doing right now. This is a, the next few days are about business. They always say we stand on business. So I'm asking them to stand on business in the next few days so that we can really enjoy the, the break that we have with our family. All right, Coach, thank you for your time. Thank you, thank guys. You coach. Great to see you.